Hi, it's Sandra Bellamy from Quirky Academy and in today's video we're going to be talking about social be again and this video comes as a response to a question I had from a viewer. They wanted to post quotes and they wanted to know if they can schedule those quotes to go out three times a week in Social Bee and put that on Evergreen. If you have never come across Social Bee before, it is an absolute powerhouse for auto posting your social media posts across loads of different social media profiles. So I have all my social media Facebook pages attached to, um, to Social Bee. I have my Twitter accounts, um, attached to Social B, uh, my LinkedIn account, and it's just absolutely incredible. It's the best social media auto posting tool I have ever used in my life. I cannot praise it enough. It's literally such a powerhouse. It makes your social sizzle. It's incredible and the team are fantastic. Their customer service is spot on. You don't just buy from them and you know, they, they're done with you and don't answer your questions. They are there right away as soon as they can answer you any questions you have and help you out. They are there like lightning. It's amazing. So I'm in the Social Bee dashboard now and these are all my social media profiles that I've added. So you need to add your profiles to the Social Bee dashboard first then what you do is you create categories which you upload your content to so you'd upload your inspirational or other quotes to the categories or whatever post you want to to put in there it could be about entrepreneurship it could be about your business anything you want to put in there in categories um so it could be promotions and then what you do with those categories, you then schedule them in the scheduler to go out at whatever times you want, either once in a while or you can just um, set it and forget it on Evergreen. It's absolutely incredible. So um, this is all my pages I've got. You can see I've got my LinkedIn profile over here. Um, I've got groups, Facebook groups. Um, I run five Facebook groups and, you know, these are all my different pages and you can see the amount of posts I've got in um, some of the uh, page profile setups. See, 1,593. So it's just amazing. Uh, now you'll see there's approved posts and, and posts that aren't approved because you have to make sure you're approving all the posts that you want to go out so there may be a certain promotion that you might have switched off so you've unapproved it for now and then you can bring it back to life at a flick of a button and make those posts approved again and then this is where i would add the categories so if i want to add inspirational quotes for example which i've done here i can make one category and schedule it out to all my pages and groups or i can make individual categories and schedule them to their respective profiles but i've currently got um all these posts going out to these different profiles so your categories live under the content section and you click on categories and then you can create a category you can add a post to a category so i could individually add another quote or i can use the bulk uploader import media function so when i want to upload um, more inspirational quotes i can select the category that i want to assign those quotes to so I could do it just to Twitter, my Quirky Books Twitter account, individual, or I could do it as a group collective, um, which is this one. And then I can literally, um, I have to literally click on whichever profiles I want to share this to. So for example, if I want to uh, schedule it for the Inspiration Inspire page, I can write some text like, do you agree or what do you think and then you can add here individual 
photographs or videos or you can add a ton of them at the same time. So at the moment I've got a very special offer coming out very very soon um, for you with all these done for you inspirational quotes. Don't they look absolutely incredible and the way I can upload these is just by holding down the shift key clicking on them and clicking choose they will then all get added to here they will bulk upload if you love these quotes very very special offer coming out soon so you notice there's repetitions here because um, these quotes I've actually made for different profiles specifically to fit that profile so some are for twitter some are for facebook um so you can just get rid of the, the ones that are doubled up if you want or you can add them so they just repeat again within their own cycle so if i just do that and then i click import at least you can see what those are like And then we get, can go back to content and categories and then we can check that those are actually loaded into that category. We go back down to the category we chose. Uh, but I did just put them in for the inspiration inspired page. I have a lot of categories as you can see. Right, here we are. So you'll notice the inspiration inspired one has got 511 because I specifically added those few to that um, profile. So that's got more going out than the other ones. So if I click there, then you will see those posts that I've added come up. See, these are the brand new posts that I've created recently. And they're all there. And then if I want to um, move them around, I can move them to bottom, move them to the top. So I can put move to the bottom and then it will jump to the bottom and I can reverse the posts. I mean, if you're sending all the quotes out to the same profiles, bear in mind from the one category you'll get some repetitions across all your pages you could set up an individual category for each of your different profiles and schedule these in a different order for each profile if you want to have different quotes going out every single day um, and then you can do a shuffle so you can shuffle them all around so there is no end to what you can do with this tool and you can click share now so I can hit the share now button and I can hit whichever ones I want to share it to whichever pages so I can share it and providing I've scheduled those pages to have that category going out it will automatically go out to them at the set time but if i want to just share it anyway right here right now then i can do so at the at literally click on all these and hit the share button and that will go out to my facebook pages so that's this one here so rather than it just waiting to go to these pages which it's still waiting um to do you can actually send it right here right now so this is great if you've got a promotion that you really want to push get a bit more urgency you could literally go in here edit say this is a final last hour get your free instant guide to making a thousand dollars a day something like that do you know what i mean great for lead magnets uh so if you want to see how that looks in my facebook page now so this is my inspiration inspired page on facebook and this is the post 
that I've just posted. See? Instantly there. It's absolutely incredible. Love Social Bee. And don't forget, you will need to, once you've created the categories, you'll need to schedule your posts wherever you want the posts to go out each day. So, for example, my quir Embrace Your Quirky page, um, I've literally got, this is my huge schedule. And these, these um, this Cyber Monday um, section, I literally can get rid of like that. So, I haven't currently got the Cyber Monday um, deals going out, but I've kept that category in there and turned it off, turned off the scheduling for that category so the category can stay there or you can just delete as you want. But it's great when you're in a rush and you've got a business to manage, you don't really wanna be doing this all manually all the time and taking your time up. You can just turn the category off, that particular category, at the flick of a button. So you don't need to delete these unless you wanna put something else in that space because you can't schedule two things for the same slot so this is where you can see the quotes questions and fun so i tend to uh, you know have at least two lots of quotes questions and fun going out every day because people don't want to see you selling your stuff all the time um they like to read content that you produce these are my blog this is my blog post this is my blog post uh, these are my YouTube channels, and so it's a nice mixture. You see, and you're getting inspiration in between. Um, so you can just literally click out of them, or you can leave them as is. You don't need to worry about it once you've turned off the category. So if you want to turn certain categories off, you can go to the category, and you just go whatever category it is, and you just go to bulk uploader, and then you have this drop down menu where you can select all and you can remove uh social profiles if you've got lots of them for that category I only have one for this particular category you can make all of these approved or make all of these unapproved so you're just ticking that box and you see make approved are you sure so i can have all those theme posts going out again or you can click all and then just uh, make unapproved, yes. So that's that simple. Or you can just approve certain ones. So uh, you can just make approved. See, and it will just go out for that specific profile um, at the time you've scheduled it that post will go out but these ones won't so i hope you've enjoyed um looking behind the scenes at social b as much as i've loved to show you